Veronica with Home Cooking. Um, I just watched a YouTube video with Clara. She is 96 now, and she was 91 at the time. It's pasta and peas. So I'm going to get ready to make it. So first, we're going to start off with uh, wetting the potatoes, and then just, just shake it a little bit, and then start peeling. So today we are watching a friend's baby and we're just going to make some food for the family today. And what, what, what do you come yesterday was 4th of July and the, the pick that I'm using to peel these is called a potato killer. The first time using it. An expert tool. How do you feel about using that potato killer? Pretty good. You never used it before, huh? No. Cool. <laughs> Signing out for now. Okay, we're going to sign out for now, but I'll be back with some more home cooking. Hi, welcome back to Veronica's Home Cooking. This is step two of our process of uh, pasta and peas. So I'm going to chop it down the middle this way. I'm going to start with this. Oops, that was a mess up. I'm going to start with this. And then push my palm to the back, and that should cut it right down the middle. And then I'm going to turn these flat, and then I'm going to cut them this way. And then I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to chop them. So I chop them straight down the middle from their halves, and then I'm chopping them into small pieces like french fries, just like that. So this is the second step process and we will be back with step three of our process. Thanks. Hi, this is Veronica. We're back with the third step. Um, right now we're going to pour, pour some oil into the pan. Just kind of drizzle it in there. So it coats the bottom. Okay, that's good. And now we're just going to let that set while we're waiting for the oil. Skills onions. Quality and convenience. Okay. So, you could get these at the store or in the freezer section. Yes. We're just going to... About enough. About a cup of... We're going to kind of let it set on here real fast to defrost a little bit. And while we're doing this, we're going to come over here. And as you see, I have my potatoes in the strainer. So we're going to just um, come out here and take these out. And we're going to... Just chop some and then you can come back to it. And we're going to... Let's show how to do it, so we can come back to it. Let's go like this. So I'm going to do some right here. And we're just going to... It's okay. Dice. 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 You could do it down or up. Claire does, Claire, Clara does it up. Okay. I'm just going to dice them into small. Did you know your, your Grandma March had an Aunt Clara? I had an Aunt Clara in my history. Yeah, and she actually lived through the Great Depression and also. she did live um, through the Great Depression also. She probably, probably made that. Huh? She probably also made it. I don't know. a popular dish, apparently. We may need to ask Clara that question. Hi, we're back with Veronica's Home Cooking. Um, today we were cooking the potatoes and uh, the pasta and peas. And so right now we're going to put the potatoes in first because they take longer to cook. And just be careful while you're putting them in there because it does splash with oil. So I'm going to go ahead and... Do that right now. Why do we have that many potatoes? Good. Because we have uh, eight people in our family, so it's hard to. Um, we need to triple it. the rest of There it goes. That's what you're talking about, huh? Yeah. You know why it splashes up like that? Because we're going to fry them. Right. It's oily. It's oil, but do you know that the reason it does that is because there's water in the potatoes. So sometimes you can pat 
the potatoes with a paper towel to get some of the water out and it won't be so splashing. That's the a water. little fat yep. for first timers. Especially if you don't want to burn yourself, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we have other things going on in the house today, don't we? Yes, we do. But today? We're dyeing hair today. We're watching movies. We're making pasta My and cheese. just got back from Africa. About how many cups of potatoes do you think that is? Oh. If that's one cup over here of onions, how many of those do you mm. think you put a potato? Probably about... Maybe seven cups. Wow, okay. maybe, huh? How many potatoes did you use? I used four potatoes. Cool. Okay. Four. So probably four I or five cups of potatoes yeah. then, at least. I had a sous chef help me cut them because I wanted to get them in fast because they do turn brown if you leave them out out of water because um, sometimes... The air hits them, huh? Yeah, the air hits them. So, so where are you cooking at right now? I'm cooking in my house, kitchen, just... We got the backyard view. This is real. This is not a set. <laughs> do you um, it looks like it. do you have a favorite pan or knife or anything that you like um, to cook with? I think my favorite pan is probably this room side right here. What are you making you that? Can make good eggs in that pan. There it is. We pulled our pans up here in our lids so we can get to them easy. Yes. What's the deal about cooking in our house, sis? Um, if you cook, you have to try to cook for other people, too, so that you can share the meal. What about the cleanup? They might like it. What? What about the cleanup? The cleanup, we don't really like to clean, but we have to in order to get the house. So if you cook, you don't have to? Clean. Clean. The so what people do you that eat it have to clean. <laughs> What's your favorite part? Cook or clean? Definitely the cooking part. So this is taking long time to get all those potatoes in there. Be careful with yeah. that knife. Use the back of the knife, maybe. There you go. Okay, and now what's the next step that you're the adding in there? The next step is to add the onion. Okay. Because you said earlier why, right? Because the potatoes cook faster. No. No, so it's slower. You want to add the onions in after. Okay. There, there, there. Add these. I'm going to get a close look here. Does that look onions. right, Clara? Yeah. So, what we're going to do after we do this. That pan's going to be hot. You might want to get a pot holder or something to grab. Yeah, there you go. So you guys might be wondering where I got this apron. It was my grandma. She did pass away, but we do like cooking some of her meals. So maybe on my next um, uh, video, I, uh, I'll cook the today. Thing we're doing. 
And um, we're gonna, should I, yeah, we're gonna add the water. Just add the whole thing, honey, to cover, I think Clara said. To cover it. And then what do you have to do? You have to add salt and pepper, right? Yes. And we're going to add some salt. Just use our sea salt right here. Sea salt? Hmm, okay. She says that they didn't measure. They just did it by eye, so I'm doing it by eye. And some pepper in here. Okay. I'm put some pepper. You like a lot of pepper? Um, I would say medium amount. Not too small, not too big. Okay. So now we're going to stir this bad boy up. Looking delicious. It smells delicious in here. And that is step five of our process. And next we'll be doing the pasta. So get ready. Hi, we're back with Veronica. So I'm cooking. This is step six. The water is now boiling. So what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to add the pasta. May spring up, so just be careful. Sometimes you gotta use your hands to get it out. Some there. tried to get away. Some tried to get away. They succeeded, but they're gonna go in the trash. All right. So now that we have that in there, we can just stir it. Now, what does Clara say? Clara says, when the pasta's done, it's ready to eat. So, we're going to let this sit. You can turn the heat off after you stir it a little bit. We're just going to turn the heat off. What are you putting your spoon on there, sis? This is my mom's Aunt Herminia. So, my great aunt made this at pottery class. So, I'm going to use this. Now, because it's very special in our life and it's for cooking. So, also, Clara says you could um, put this off here after you turn the uh, heat off. You just put the lid on to let it boil a little bit. And then. I wonder why they shut the heat off. Remember what Clara said? Because you don't want it to overcook. And also, didn't they conserve, they like, conserve fuel or energy or something, right? Because yes, in the Depression, everything was expensive. Yes. They didn't have a lot of money, right? Yes. And some tips of when you're cooking, you might want to put your hair back. As you see, I have bangs, so it's kind of hard to put those back because they come loose all the time. So you can leave, if you have bangs, you can leave them out. And uh, you might want to wear gloves. Gloves are very important when you're cooking because it, you can burn when you're cooking and you might want to have a uh, pot holder. A pot holder so that you so, some things don't slip off here and it's very hot so you make sure use the gloves that you have the pot holder. Just use it so if you're going to pick it up it's not too hot. and. Wear an apron so that you don't get, it will go on the apron, not your clothes. You know what I'm saying? And those are the tips that conclude for this day. When I'll be back with the eating of it and some Parmesan cheese on top. Bye. Hi, you're back with Veronica Film Cooking, which is step seven. So, right now, um, we're just going to open this, but be careful when you open it because the steam is very hot. So you want a long oven mitt, I would suggest, and you want to open it like this away from you. Good okay. tip. Very yeah, hot. Set that down right here. Ooh, and the pasta is looking done. It looks that looks really beautiful. It looks what do you think, Clara? Yeah. Yep. What do you think? All right, so Miss Clara. Miss Clara, yes. Um, Clara. I'm just gonna stir this around a little bit, and she said when the 
pasta was done, right? The pasta was done. It's ready to eat. And do you want to try one? Pasta was done. See. So just be careful. You can try the the sauce with a finger. Just make sure you have washed hands or a spoon or a fork. But I'm gonna use a spoon. So let's just try a little bit of this. Together get some sauce. See if it needs any extra flavor. What do you think there? That's scrumptious. Mm. Okay. So, um, does the pasta taste done? Yes, it does. Okay. Well, let's put it on a pretty mm. serving bowl and we'll come back. Yes, we will. That was step seven. That's the rest. Hi, we're back with Veronica's Home Cooking. This is step eight. Okay, so we're going to be careful again as we take this off. The pasta is done. Okay, so as my mom always says, season to your taste, which means put you can add any seasonings you want, really. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some, it's called... Roasting rub, savory herb. Let me zoom in on that. Hold it up. There we go. So that's one thing that we're going to be using. We're going to add a tablespoon of this. Because we have a lot of people. So I'm just going to make that a good amount. Okay. So we're just going to kind of pour it around here. That looks delicious. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we can just put this right here in the sink, and then two. Okay, so now after we have all this done, we're going to open this up right here. I'm going to grab this. What is that? This, she... Clara, Clara, Miss Clara, Miss Clara, she used, um, potato sauce, oh no, pasta sauce, potato sauce, pasta sauce, I'm sorry, that was a mishap, and this is the closest thing that we have right now to pasta sauce, so we're going to use, uh, pasta paste, tomato paste, tomato paste, but it makes pasta sauce, but it make pasta sauce. when you mix it with these herbs, it's like making your own spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce. Because Clara said right that her mom would, depending on what they had, right? Yes, depending on what they had, they used. Which is funny because that's kind of what I say when yes. we're cooking. So how about, how much did you use of that? Um, That was probably like maybe two and a half tablespoons. Okay. And then you're just going to stir it up. Two and a half tablespoons is good. All right. I'm going to put this mitt on again. And we're going to go like this. And just stir the pasta seed, or the pasta, the tomato paste into here and the seasoning because we're seasoning to our taste. And this is a very good um, seasoning right here. This smells, the smell of the seasoning is delicious. I wish you could smell it with me. <laughs> but you're only on video. So you can't do that. Let's zoom in. Ooh, it's looking good. Get it all stirred in there, huh? Yep. Um yeah, so we're gonna just keep this going for a second. And we'll be right back. And we will be right back. Hi, we're back with Veronica's home cooking. Um, this is the final step of our stage. We're going to start plating, but as you see, there's also chicken. The spice of kicking chicken is what they call it. Uh, my mom likes to call it kick butt chicken. It's her favorite. And she just put it in the oven. I know in the Great Depression, they didn't use this as a, a meal. They use it. They probably use it as their main meal, just this alone. Or like a special or day, like a huh? Special day, if they had enough money. So we're gonna use this, but my dad is a carnivore, so he really likes it. And um, we're gonna start. Just gonna scoop some of this. 
some of this out. So, Miss Clara, we're going to use the pasta and peas as a side dish. Yes. And if you do want to add more, uh, more spices, you can add. So, I'm going to just probably add a little bit more pepper. Yeah, we personalize it. We put the salt and pepper on the table. That way, if you like more pepper. A little bit more pepper and a little bit more salt. Okay. Just I thought it tasted perfect. It did. <laughs> I just wanted to add more just to get more flavor going. And, then and Mom, if you want to come try this with me, you can. Um, we're going to start um, lighting the chicken also. So let's probably get a small piece of chicken. Maybe this one right here. Ooh, that crispy sound just makes me want to eat it up. Mmm. That okay. is our chicken chicken. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Fork and a knife. This shit. Okay. Let me get this fork and this knife. I'm ready to try this chicken. Okay, so let's get some of this. Oh. In here. Do we want some skin too? I might have to use my hands for the skin. You can use your hands or you can use the fork. Especially in Africa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have utensils, Vera okay. told us. Okay. Yeah. So get now, it on there. Just get some of this with the chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. You can try this with the chicken, or you can try it alone. You can try it without the tomato paste. You can try it with the tomato paste. No matter what you use, you can use it all in one dish. All right.